Hello, everyone. My name is Douglas. At least it is in English. My sign name looks like this. That's American Sign Language, which is the language I'm using to communicate with all of you. I have an interpreter who's interpreting into English so that you can understand. I'm the executive director and founder of a nonprofit organization called ASL Poetry Slam. ASL Poetry Slam is a platform for deaf people to play with their own language in a safe space. I'm a poet myself. I do ASL poetry, visual poetry, and music poetry. Tonight, we're going to focus on the latter. And you may ask yourself, what is music poetry? And what am I doing with it? Basically, what I do is I come up with a piece, and I give it to a group of musicians, of course, in video form. And they come up with a composition to match what they see. Hence, you have the three musicians in front of you tonight who have practiced throughout the weeks with the video that I've given them. And this afternoon, we met the fir for the first time. And we rehearsed, and we rehearsed, and we rehearsed. And you will now see the fruits of our labor. That was a poem called Strapped. The tree in this poem is a metaphor. The tree is strapped down, unable to grow, unable to evolve, and unable to blossom. And the same thing happens with deaf people. The world is a hearing one, and it straps us. We have to learn to speak. Signing is secondary. We have to conform to the larger society. And this oppression has been going on for way too long. It's only in the past 40 years that we've been able to liberate ourselves and grow and evolve and blossom. And it's because we're allowed to play with our natural language, sign language, 
that this can happen. Now I'm playing with language and adding a layer of music. And you may ask, well, why would he want to do that? Well, throughout my life, a lot of people have asked me if I could hear this. Can you hear birdsong? Can you hear that? And it's had a profound effect on me. My response is normally, can you see this? Have you seen a flower laughing? Have you seen a bee dancing? Have you seen the relationship between the two? Because that, to me, is visual music. So I want us all to unplug our ears tonight and focus on the visual. How do we understand music through our eyes? By adding a layer of auditory music, it helps you understand what I see. Yeah. <laughs> 
Thank you. So maybe some of you saw bees dancing and flowers laughing and the relationship between those two and how fundamental that relationship is in, in nature. If the bees weren't there, the flowers wouldn't exist and vice versa. The bees and the flowers in this story are a metaphor for deaf and hard of hearing people and sign language. One is vital to the other. Deaf people cannot live fruitfully without sign language. And this is a very, very fundamental relationship in nature, in deaf society. Now, some of you may have noticed there were two different types of applause here tonight. We had a visual applause and an auditory one. So the visual applause looks like this. So why don't you all copy me and do a visual applause for me? Wow, this looks beautiful from up here. Great. So I, I think we should give our three musicians, Alex, Sarah, and Matthias, a big visual applause and thank them for their efforts tonight and throughout the weeks to prepare. Now, I want to finish off the evening by teaching you how to actually unplug your ears and focus on the visual. Now, I'm going to take off that layer of auditory music and focus on visual nature of, of music. So what you're going to see in this next poem is some water dripping. And that's going to look like this. You're going to see some repetition. You're also going to see the raging waves of an angry ocean. And you'll notice a silky stream of a river. So I'll present you with these three visual elements amongst some others, of course, in this next poem. But I need you for the end. So after I do this, which is catching the butterfly, you'll see my hands go to my chest like this. And when I do this, I want you to go along with me for the rest of the poem with your hands and your bodies, okay? If you understand me, deaf clap your hands. This poem is called Transits, A Journey Through Life.
<laughs> Thank you. And well done. So have you seen music tonight? Yes? I think we have. Thank you very much. Love to you all.